episode seven. Yeah. Elysian Daglo Al IPA. And we're here with our guest Ian Smith of On Confined. He's the lead singer and the lead vocalist. Cheers, guys. Clink clink clink. Let's try this beer. Not bad. Fruitier than I figured. Oh yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know, the case is pretty fruity, so... De- definitely not as bitter as I thought it would be, though. Yeah, it has a decent aftertaste. Yeah, I'd say this one's like... All it's like grape without the nasty bitter. Like, yeah, it's kind of like the last few that we tried, but like, without the aftertaste. It's like that. But then it's not like... <laughs> <laughs> not too much. Or it almost feels like you've been chewing on leaves or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Or smoked a bunch yeah, of Yeah, no, I'm like getting addicted to them now. I didn't even used to like them until we started this, and now I'm like... We did one. We didn't do one last week, and I was like, "Man, I still want an IPA." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I got too. <laughs> so we went and got one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he, no, not bad. Uh, I don't know where you got it, but I'm sure you can pick it up in most places. Oh yeah, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So, pretty good stuff. Uh, How is it pronounced? Elysian. Daglo. Elysium. <laughs> no, it's yeah. Elysian. We looked it up. There's two different ways to say it. <laughs> We're probably still fucking it up. But, <laughs> but uh, you see in the picture, it's not hard to find. <laughs> it's, it's a tiger with laser shooting out of its eyes. So, <laughs> right. yeah, This company needs to hit up the link somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how to pronounce this. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Send instructions. Where's yeah. the manual for this yeah. beer? <laughs> <laughs> no joke, though. But, yeah, not pretty good. I liked it. So what kind of uh, music do you guys do? Uh, you know, we do a lot of rock, uh, you know, but we have, like, vibes of, like, hip-hop and reggae and ska and nice. yeah. old Lizzy. So who's your, like, idols? Who do you get your music from? I'd say, you know, as a whole, we have a lot of influences in the band, and I think it really shows. Um, to me, personally, you know, like, Nirvana, Sublime, Foo Fighters. Nice. Tool oh, classics, grungy you know, stuff. Yeah, 90s, good rock. You know. Northwest. I oh, like a lot of the Northwest Seattle <laughs> sound, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah well, it makes sense when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you from here then? Uh, no, I was uh, born in Phoenix, grew up in LA, lived in Vegas for a few years, and then been up here for about five or six. So. Nice. He's all got a You've been in the real music scene then. Huh? <laughs> I mean, just all over the place. I mean, every music scene is pretty real. It's just <laughs> not as big. Music fans aren't as good. In yeah, some places, yeah, yeah. You know, or there just isn't enough of them. Some places, like here, <laughs> well, it just takes bands pushing it out there and getting people to come yeah. to shows, promoting what promoting, it's all about, promoting, getting yourself out there. Just to <laughs> yeah, have people. this guy. <laughs> he prom- he's yeah. on a promotion, Dude, right? Yeah, for real. I've been pushing hell, uh, and you get a lot of shows too. I see that all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, same. And uh, what do you? So got? I know you guys like. Do you guys have a show coming up, like in town, coming soon? Um, we're working on something in town, um, but we do have kind of a local show coming up. Uh, April 19th, we'll be at the Spokane Knitting Factory. Nice. Mm. And uh, we actually, we've got a bunch of tickets you guys can give away for your next podcast. Or mm. your nice. Next Who are you opening you for? Uh, we're opening for a group called Elton Jaw. Oh, I actually seen that. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty. They're a cover band? Yeah, they're yeah. a tribute. They're pretty yeah, they're badass. Tribute. Um, but they like, they really make the music their own. Like, they put a good twist on it. Nice. Yeah, I think you guys... Kind of like a punk vibe? Or? Um, I'd say, like, a good reggae vibe. Nice. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, like, a lot of energy, just... Yeah, so it's really good about, chill. Like, you want to go? And yeah. I was like, a cover Elton John? And I was like, are they all dressed like Elton John? Dude, no, no. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> he just went and seen... kind of cool, though. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he just went and seen Elton John last year. How yeah. was that? That was awesome. Was that at the arena? Or? Yeah, we went to the arena. Nice. Out of nowhere, too, randomness, yeah. like, oh, we're going to see Elton John. And, like, yeah, lucky. He was telling me, like, what was it going on, like, in the line? Like, oh, people dude, were, like, like people that were still protesting about, like, homosexual stuff, dude. I got called a fornicator, like, six times. <laughs> for well, just going to the show. I mean, I was like, <laughs> cheers to fornication. They had, like, like, a, like, they had like, a, like, a, maybe, like, 10 or 11-year-old out there filming them. I was, like, on a school night at, like, 10 o'clock. I was like, that's legit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna have your kid out, at least let him go to the concert. Yeah. <laughs> Some crazy Ooh, gee, baby. Out there. <laughs> you know, when it when it comes to those people, I think it's gonna be a long, long time. You know. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> They're just stuck but in the they just awesome, fucking get it through their heads. I guess mean, he's like on his last one, huh? Ah, uh, you know. These older musicians, man, they kill me, dude. I, <laughs> I want to quit every other day, it feels like, and these dudes are like playing 25, <laughs> 35, 40 years into their career and just like Going still shredding it. Yeah, I think it's one of those things that like once you really get into it, you can't stop. Right, when you have so many known Dude, songs too. It, and it just just the way it is, like... Well, uh, that's be, like, monotonous if you stop, like, hitting the road every day and, like, doing multiple shows and, like, go hungry. Oh, like, you, dude, I'm bored. Do you get addi- <laughs> I think you, no way, dude. I think you just get addicted to it. I mean, sitting at home, it's, like... <sighs> Droll. Yeah, it's just it's, it's dragging ass the whole time, and I'm just, like... I mean, at least that's how it is for me, and it's, like, if right. I could be up on stage every night, I would. In a I'm different city every night, too. see the prick. It's gotta be pretty nice. <laughs> It's like, when am I going to have my next show? <laughs> When's it going to be my time? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you get to play with a bunch of other good bands, too, at like certain shows. Dude, that's, I think it's all about the perks. Like, being on stage for an hour or whatever is great, but it's like getting to go to other shows and like oh, just no, being in the scene like that is like the best part for me. <laughs> the perks. Like, what up, dude? I've been listening to your music forever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, it's, it's cool. I mean, and you sweet. It's it yeah. definitely all part of it for sure. So uh, you guys have one album out then? Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of singles out. Uh, we're doing a full uh, LP probably uh, by summer. Nice. We're looking at having that out. It's going to be like a mix of like older stuff that we've done and some Maybe stuff that people, that it's, that's never been released. Some stuff that people have heard that have been waiting for and then a few new things that uh, nobody's heard yet. So nice. we're pretty stoked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you have any new ones that you want to show us or... Um, you know, I can play a song for you or something if you want. Yeah, I'm so down. You want to just hop right into it? Sure. Yeah, it's up to you, man. All right. <laughs> I'm all, wait, hold on. Can you? <laughs> on the spot? I'm all, no pressure. <laughs> all right, this oh, one's called Under Pressure. It's an orange. Under <laughs> 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 pressure. Yeah, it shreds it out. <laughs> you guys want an original or? No, just yeah. play whatever you feel like playing. <laughs> <laughs> Where to start? It's all hit there, Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> a, B, C, D. This one's called The Alphabet Song. <laughs> I wrote it last year. <laughs> <laughs> last night, five it, minutes. It's my sleeper, dude. You know, when I, when I start feeling like it ain't gonna happen, I'll drop this sleeper and just shoot straight to the top of the charts. <laughs> Russian sleeper agent. Yeah, dude. It's all about the numbers. It's a numbers game now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, dude. So how long have you guys been doing this podcast? We're going on two months, basically. Two months, yeah, I've been I've been keeping up, but I don't know if I've missed an episode. What episode is this? Eight? Seven. Seven? Seven? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We skipped last week, or we would have been on eight, but we decided to do some promotional stuff. So we put out a commercial and worked on some stuff. Commercial. Got some nice. Yeah, how'd equipment. You, that was that, I seen that commercial in that like, living room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. It was a green screen. Yeah, yeah green screen. There's, we thought it'd be funny to be like have like a nice fancy like background. And just you guys like... should have had bathrobes. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's how I was like. I was I was like thinking about putting like a it's like man. Nothing. I wish we had like some tuxedos <laughs> or something. Just underwear. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're kicking it with your bros. <laughs> just get some Calvin Klein underwear. <laughs> yeah. We should just paint ourselves green. <laughs> that way, like body we paint. can wear all the clothes we can't afford. It's more like the refla- re- relax fit. <laughs> relax <laughs> fits all. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh man. <laughs> now let's hear the song. I'm still trying to think of what to play to here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I came totally. Like, you put me on the spot there, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, and I was just asking for it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let's do a cover or something. Cover on a ridge. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. A that cover on a ridge. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get 
course, nice. and that's legit. Is that one of your newer ones? Yeah, it's a newer one. Uh, working on it. It's nice. kind of like a. It's weird because it's really short, and then it it blends into like another song. So it's kind of like a intro like, to another one. It's like a song ends and then kind of goes into that, and then that lasts for about two minutes, and then, and then it you turns start into something song. else. Yeah, nice. so, so it's like a transition. <laughs> yeah. Really nice. quick. Sound real good. Yeah, so yeah, oh, yeah. Blown away by it. <laughs> Blown I'm all. God damn it, dude. <laughs> yes. Soft clap. Someone get me some roses. <laughs> just throw one of these at me. Is that the song you're looking to maybe put on your next album? You know, I think it's going to be on there for sure. Nice. It's definitely going to be on there. You guys yeah. do recording in town or? Uh, redo a little bit. Like, redo. Um, I'm planning on doing some pre production over at uh, Nate Kind's studio. Nice. And then uh, I was either thinking about going to Amplified Wax up in Spokane or uh, Robert Lang in Seattle, nice. which it's kind of all up in the air. <laughs> you just got to pick a spot and, yeah. and commit to it, you know. Recording Where was it expensive. that you guys recorded your first album at? Uh, that was at The Palms nice. in Vegas. They're, uh, was it Studio X or Studio Y? Mm. They have like two studios in there. It was the big one. <laughs> You're all, whatever, yeah, was, whatever the big one was, <laughs> it was that one. And then um, part of that album was there, and then the other part of it was at Zorn Maddox Studio, which oh, is yeah. also in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was a fun trip. We were down there for like a month with, uh, we got produced by John Moyer from Disturbed. Nice. nice. Bass player? Uh, yeah, bass player. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we had a lot of really good guys on it, and... Um, we have Robbie Katz and uh, and Zoran Maddox, you know, running the board for us, engineering, and then uh, we got it mixed and mastered by uh, Mike Orlando. Nice. That was yeah. like th- accomplishing. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's always kind of weird. Like everybody that was involved was just like way better at music than I. I feel am. like that's every. So it's like, like I think just most people who actually play instruments are just really, micro- really micro- modest or whatever, <laughs> right? Because yeah. everyone I know who's, like, even really good at guitar, they're like, I'm not even good. Like, every single person. I can person, play a few chords. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, super modesty. It's like, nah, dude. Nah. And I can play them, like, something crappy that you, like, made. Like, that was awesome, dude. That was awesome. Like, you know what I mean? They're like, he was being modest. I suck. And they <laughs> and pick up like, the guitar, and they're like, bam, bam, bam. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like, yeah, that's definitely not me. <laughs> you've seen about the extent of what I can do, which was two chords. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to me, those two guy. chords sound yeah. good, though. <laughs> I don't have much, but I play the fuck out of those two. Things. <laughs> I got my strumming patterns. Well, that and just being able to strum and sing is impressive, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you know, I learned it by jerking off and singing at the, <laughs> at the same time while simultaneously washing my hair. It's kind of like it's you know, multitasking master, you know, patting your head and rubbing your wiener or something. That's, That's how I learned it. <laughs> Stupid. Started real young, so help me out. Dude. You gotta play with and a leg, you know. a leg up yeah. in the yeah. shower, not on the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that thing where you sit on your hand? Oh, oh, yeah. the, the, the ghost or whatever, the stranger. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like you sit on your hand till it goes numb, and it's like someone else is doing it. So in order to really switch it up, I sat on my wiener till it went numb the other day, and then jerked off. It was like jerking someone else off. <laughs> yeah, totally strange. I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> Three out of ten wouldn't recommend. Yeah. It was. Like the time. double dutch. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to therapy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is even worse than prom. I was homeschooled, so. Like, really <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> oh, mm. Ugh, that's Family a joke. matters. How long have you guys been a band? Uh, 25 years. <laughs> Holy shit! We started well, back I in mean, I'm sure that's how much I've aged since we've had the band. <laughs> um. You know, like we had a we had a pro, we've been jamming together for a while, and we've had a couple of dudes that come in and out. Um, but I say like legit hitting it hard about four or five years now. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, uh, it's, been, it's been fun. It's been fun. We still have a lot that we're gonna do, and we got plans for the future. And we're just kind of taking it a little easy right now, and writing a bunch, and trying to get a good game plan. Because I mean, really, like you could be the best band in the world, have the greatest music, and never go anywhere. Like yeah. this, industry will just eat you up alive, and right, and not only that, it's kind of hard <laughs> well, to come out of your like... first album too. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. once and you have that you first know. one that was good, it's hard to make something better. Right, like, absolutely. 
And I mean, shit, dude. We're having maybe well, there's, two thousand all... people have heard the first one. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, then it's like, well, how many one-hit wonders have come and gone already? Too. That's the bad thing dude, with the I, internet. I would still even be okay with one. I mean, one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not right? saying... royalties for days. Dude, it's just so hard to get in there. I mean, but those one-hit wonder bands are still playing a room. Yeah. 1,500 people in it every yeah. night of the week, you know. And the Bee Gees. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> it's killed it, though. Yeah, I mean, sh- I'm to the point, man, you can be like, I love that song, but you rewound it in Mandarin Chinese. I'm like, that's super funny. I've been brushing up on my Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's weird, because I just started picking it back up. That's, that's specifically ironic. <laughs> fate. <laughs> fate, I guess. Uh, uh, my friend's... It's almost like my first language. <laughs> Dude, I actually read somewhere. I read somewhere. Well, and I think when anybody says they read something somewhere, it was on Facebook or yeah, you know, it's something like, of super on social media. Yeah. I just read for two minutes. Like that Eddie Murphy died in a skiing accident. Yeah. Like, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, it, was saying, it was saying something like, um, like learning another language is easier when you're drunk. Or you're better at it. Like, you're better at pronouncing... <laughs> it's because you're, like, words. slurring it together. It's you're, just like, you're just letting it flow. Like <laughs> like velvet coming out your drunken mouth or something. <laughs> That's I don't weird. know, but it makes sense, kind of. Like, I feel like I would speak really good Spanish drunk. Did I try and learn I Spanish? And I, like, put, like, three hard weeks into it and, like, got, like, the basics down and then just fell out of it. And I'm like, <laughs> I know how to say jacket now. Like, <laughs> I got, like, two words. words. Chiquita, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Got two words out of all of it. Yeah, it's like I do a little bit because I took a lot when I was a kid, but like I actually took surprisingly seven years of Spanish and never I retained the word pinguino because it was for penguin. (laughs) Pinguino and jackito. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, like someone needs a penguin. Baño, I know, means bathroom. (laughs) Yeah, it does. Yeah. (laughs) Not to say him, her pronouns. That's about it. And that everyone knows mocha <laughs> means weed and dinero means money, so I mean, I'm good if I ever go. <laughs> no, no, like, I can get me some cervezas. <laughs> yes, Taco is already Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm set, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's great. And after you have a couple cervezas and tacos in Mexico, you'll definitely need the baño. <laughs> and, and by that time, you no, should I be mean, speaking fluent Spanish. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're drunk. <laughs> tequila uh, keep it down taquito I'm learning Spanish <laughs> yes. slow her down <laughs> I'm a beginner right, now don't get ahead of yourself <laughs> yes. Jeez. this beer's not too bad yeah no right. like I said it definitely I just think IPAs in general growing I can see why there's a, definitely a fan base for it I feel bad yeah. for people in AA it's yeah. never time to give up we're all, if you're an <laughs> AA, I suggest <laughs> you keep watching, just stay on the wagon. <laughs> they don't, don't, they don't want They don't want any of this. I mean, it's too just delicious and I, refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is super good. I put it that one makes down a lot things quicker. better. Yeah, it's just so smooth, like a mountain stream. <laughs> then the like tiger's pretty crazy, too. <laughs> Their design guy went all out on that. Oh. <laughs> Right? I mean, I feel like they could have easily left the lasers out of the eyes and it would have sold just as good. It's, but like, it's a tiger. They wanted me to eyes. just put the name on there, but I was like, dude, they but I can draw. Well, it gave me the opportunity to put the eye of the tiger on a hashtag on Twitter and Instagram, so I was, I'm was i not too mad about <laughs> Did it. Did you notice the <laughs> Siberian white tiger on the inside of the what? glass? You're tripping me out. Are you kidding? That, yeah. You, oh, sure. You don't see that? Oh, uh, mine's not. Mine's too full for me to see it. Maybe ours are winners and yours is a loser. Because <laughs> you're a loser. Ah! <laughs> do you see it now? Oh yeah, dude. Is yours is not one. You still got too much beer. I just there. got. I just opened it. Yeah. Oh, do you need like a nipple on there? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. That's <laughs> <Come on>, baby. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> or am I on my first beer? Is that you are. Done? He's all. Oh, He's I all... need the nipple. Yeah. There. Boom. Yeah. Roasted. <laughs> Quick roast. Oh, <laughs> the table's <laughs> turned. Yeah. <laughs> what, what wicked web, Susan? <laughs> what a web you've created! Yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> what a web we we. Yeah, yeah. Stop talking to me in pronouns or whatever, mm-hmm. Mom. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> pronouns. Yeah, I don't know what she's saying. Just... I sounded noun out, and it's nums now. <laughs> <laughs> it's Elysian. <laughs> Elysian. Dayglo. Are you glowing? No, I'm just, every drunk. time I hear that, I'm like, Dave. I'm pregnant. I'm <laughs> <laughs> drunk and pregnant. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> nice. 
poke me with a stick. <laughs> oh, oh, you already man. finished both those? Yeah, it was good. Man, I guess we're both wussies. <laughs> Sorry, I Put got us to the blood. shame. <laughs> Shaming. So what made you guys finally decide to start a band? Just um, so one we day someone the... was all, we should start a band. No, like uh, we all got kidnapped, <laughs> and uh, this dude held a gun to us. So he's like, now play music. <laughs> we're all scared, and he's like way bigger than us. Like <laughs> he's like the king of the neighborhood. He's all like sweaty, and his belly's big, and there's like a fly going around him. <laughs> he's like the chief of our. Of our little neighborhood or whatever. It's like, like, you play now. Bush, bush. <laughs> faster. And we're like, eh. <laughs> no, no, a funny we story, though. Like, we all met because uh, I had just moved into the neighborhood. Like, I just moved to Vegas. Um, and I heard some dudes jamming. And I was like, well, fuck it. I'm going to go knock on this garage door. And I was like, waited outside. <laughs> until the music stopped and it was just like doom, 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 doom. they thought I was the cop so they opened right up right, like, we're not gonna keep it down oh. yeah it was pretty <laughs> like, no. I just like came in and was just like let's I jam just moved in what's, what's good and they were like who are you fucking weirdo and like <laughs> yeah I like music you guys like music let's like music together <laughs> yeah and they're like no no fuck you <laughs> No, no, they were pretty cool. They were just like, all right, weirdo, like, I guess, like, you can play some guitar or whatever. Or... <laughs> I don't, what do you play on guitar? Do you give me a guitar? <laughs> well, I think I started playing drums with them, actually. And when the band started, I was playing drums and singing. Mm. Nice. Right, side question on that. How many instruments can you, would you say you can play? I would say I can play bass, drums, guitar, vocals. Trumpet. Uh, so, so once fucking you just band. get a looper and like just make your own band. <laughs> you know, I just like jamming with my bros. Like, <laughs> that, you know, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to like doing you know, stuff around stuff. like that. Like I, I love the just Ian jamming. Smith project. <laughs> <laughs> It'd have to be something cooler than that. <laughs> can't be something, you know. It can't be my slave name. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Toby <can't>. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go from Ian Smith to, like, Steve Jones or something. Like <laughs> the Steve yeah. Jones experience. That just sounds like a porn. How name. did that get wider? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at these things. Like Wider and weirder. Yeah. Yes. Steve. Dot com, dude. <laughs> Dot <Fucking> Steve. <laughs> oh, man. It could have uh, been, like, like harmonious or some shit. Like. <laughs> well, what, how'd you guys come on the name of the band? Unconfined. Um... I don't remember where it really came from, but I think somebody was just like, since at the time we all switched instruments, and uh, even right now, like everybody in the band can play multiple instruments. Uh, we don't really focalize on switching around. That's pretty like, super good to. though. Like let's play like a variety of songs. But yeah, it was like it was we play, uh, you know, a lot of different styles of music, and we can all play you know multiple instruments. So we're just like unconfined, and then it's just become more than a band name. Yeah, it's more of a lifestyle. Yeah, say lifestyle. <laughs> saw, join the lifestyle, folks. Yeah. <laughs> join the do movement. A, do a little kiss and like a little... <laughs> oh, yeah. Right here. A little uh, nod and wink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like to wink with both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the camera while you do it, brother. <laughs> For those of you watching, it's about to get weird. What time is it? <laughs> what time is it our time? It's like... I don't know. It's like almost booty call our time, so if you're watching this, you know, at this time, <laughs> Skin and Max starts in minutes. Kiss, so, kiss. Is that even a thing anymore? I don't know, dude. Does anybody even have cable? I was going to say, you're just, the only one who knows. Just businesses and restaurants have cable. <laughs> yeah, because they have to. Like, yeah, it's like, everybody just like, uses like it. It's either Pornhub or X videos nowadays. <laughs> yes, yeah, XNXX. <laughs> dude, that's where you guys need your sponsorship right there. Like, follow the link right here. <laughs> To our favorite videos of the week, we're gonna do porn video reviews. Like, Let's see her squirt. We're gonna yes. reenact. <laughs> no, we're gonna reenact grabbing by the pussy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Donald. No, <laughs> I know you bought me furniture, but <laughs> not, the, not the pussy. <laughs> Oh, that's so insensitive. Not the gumdrop button. <laughs> <laughs> Just the gumdrop button is what she would say. Just the gumdrop button. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, the muffin man? <laughs> we went from music to dirt. 
to Shrek. Dirt to Shrek references. Mm. <laughs> that Shrek is love, dude. Is love, <laughs> yeah, dude, dude. I was just talking to someone about that video, and it's actually super old. It is pretty old, yeah. <laughs> like now, it's weird how the internet ages. Right? That's why it came out yesterday. It's like that came out eight years ago. It doesn't even. <laughs> time is real anymore. No, yeah, it's yeah. That's where it's at. Uh, it's bad. It's like that was last year. That was a week ago. Yeah. You're like nobody says so, so. YOLO anymore. <laughs> it's like Rock on the River, dude. It sneaks up on me every like, year. I'm like, well, it's Rock on the River. It again came already? and went. <laughs> I'll say. That's, that's weird. All these cameras, like everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, they're Ugh. looking at me, man. It's like we're in Europe or a bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, government. A bank, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Bank. It's like, I bet these are even better, like, quality than, like, bank videos. <laughs> <laughs> you can I actually have... make out who we are. <laughs> <laughs> He's a guy with six pixelated face posts. <laughs> we're looking Could be definitely... white or gray alien. We don't know. <laughs> Definitely pretty Also, close. though, but it's also, like, you, it's hard, so hard to get away with a bank robbery. Like, it's, oh, like, you gotta be a yeah. computer whiz and just, like, electronically steal it or you're not getting away with it. It's gotta be, like, lasers and, like, It's gotta be the hip-hop shit. anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shut down every camera down the block. It's, yeah, I don't even know how you get away with, like, eyewitnesses, phones. Like, you can't shut off every phone camera. Dude, motherfucker can't even steal a candy bar from Walmart anymore. You ain't robbing nothing. Walmart puts you on blast now. <laughs> they're like, did you see this, this guy? This guy stole a diaper. Dude. <laughs> yeah. For his child. I, like, I've been into a few, like, stores where they have, like, a picture. It's like, this guy's a thief. And it's like, a fucking security picture of the guy. And you're like, maybe I know that guy. I don't know. You still can't fucking make them out, though. They're all three. Yeah, shit. that's all I'm saying. It's like, the guy's just put the extra, like, like, like literally forty dollars a year yeah, yeah. instead of twenty. <laughs> that uh, that porn shop in town. Oh, that uh, just he, what they put people on on blast. Naughty and nice is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, Naughty I nice seen that. Yeah, that's, that's actually what I was talking about. I wasn't gonna name it, but yeah, they're like, <laughs> it's like this guy stole a twelve inch pink dildo. <laughs> <laughs> You're like what? Fuck around and find me on that. Right? <laughs> I, I didn't even want to steal it. Like I was just too ashamed to buy it myself or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I can't buy this huge caught, dildo. Paid, I'm like, paying for this. Yeah, they'll Let's... start looking for me. I'll be like, I put money in the bag. No, <laughs> dude, I went in there one time. This lady was like, "You'd be surprised." People are like, "Can you like quadruple bag that so no one can see through the bag?" And some guy was like, bought like one of those fake, like just asses, and he was all like, I need it bagged up because I'm walking. It's like, it's like, what, dude? Hell yeah. Like, you can't call buy, a cab? Dude, you walk to buy a piece of like latex rubber. ass. I need a clear plastic bag, please. Yeah. <laughs> and watch me strut like, if you want to have well, it's like, I just imagine that guy getting home and then like. It's like his roommate. It's like, what up, dude? He just like walks right to his room and says nothing. Like, who else do you do when you buy new stuff? Just lubes up the bag and goes. Like I said, you know that guy went straight home and fucked it. Like, anytime you get anything new, you go straight home, you open it up, and use it. (laughs) (laughs) He brings it back. He brings it back. This isn't what I wanted. (laughs) Uh, I asked for Asian asshole. This is clearly Brazilian. (laughs) Clearly American. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) <laughs> the like, Asian one's got orange chicken coming out of it. It's just sideways because the race is fuck. It comes with chopsticks. <laughs> with chopsticks to spread the cheeks, dude. <laughs> Kung pow. <laughs> Kung pow. <dude. laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Punch for days. <laughs> Fuck Except for that man. one, come, I knew I was wrong because it didn't come with a side of white rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Shit didn't uh, sound right. <laughs> they never came. <laughs> yes. They never no, came. No, but yeah, she told a couple stories like that because I was like, like looking at, they had like ten pictures up in there, like j- dudes. Dudes are still in dildos. Like I don't know why it's a thing, but I, you know I believe it. They're dude. scared. They're like, I don't want to go in there and be like, yeah, my girlfriend thinks I have a small dick, so I'll like, buy a real one for her, <laughs> a real fake one. They're like, I'm so <laughs> dude. I'll you, take the compensator five thousand. <laughs> they're, they're, <all, laughs> they're like, you know how much you can give for a new dildo on the street. <laughs> Dude, the, the black market <laughs> dildo. <laughs> the, the, the underground dildo market. Is, it's off the chain. Dude, I go in there, spent forty dollars. They want them right? used, though. They do. They want yeah, them used. Like, like I went in there, spent forty dollars, right? Went up to some dipshit on the street. Mm-hmm. He paid eighty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he also thought it was real. Say Craigslist. Right Instantly, <laughs> doubled my money. Went back and bought two more. <laughs> 
What's better than one dildo? You guys have heard cat like car and house Tune. flipping. This guy's like flipping dildos. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I bet we could. We gotta get the suction cup ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Throw it on the side. Flipping bottles, dude. Oh, you man. Flip dildos. That's the deal. Have seen those videos where people like have those yeah. like suction cups? Like throw them on windows or like you literally they go downtown. And they How go do to you businesses fuck that, and shit. I mean, I'm just dude. I was watching one the other day. <clears> this motorcyclist drives by another motorcyclist on. Or, well, he wasn't a motorcycle. He was on a moped. He, like, looks at him, the guy, like, looks at him, and he just shows one of those dildos right to his fucking mask. Of course he had a dildo. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I, was like, well, I don't know what's weirder than that, that stuck to your face or a guy drove around town with that in his hand. <laughs> on a moped. <laughs> no, the guy on the motorcycle stuck to the guy on the moped's face. Oh, That's shit. it was funny, but... <laughs> I like, but at the same time, it's like, you carried a dildo around for, like, just that... <laughs> <laughs> like either that was stage, that was stage, or you were carrying that for like 260 days until you see. It's like Mark bed. Wahlberg says. He's like, yeah, we made fun of, or we we literally learned how to do, uh, like, what do you call it? Fucking where they did dance, the girls dance ballet. He's like, I learned how to do ballet just to pick on a kid. <laughs> That's how you do it. You're not even good at it. <laughs> uh. Holy fucking shit, it's Mark Wahlberg. Oh, uh, yeah, he has. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> <laughs> we should do movies together. I think they'd be really great. <laughs> that guy's classic, though. I guess he got a hate crime back in the day, and he's, like, still famous as shit, dude. Like, yeah, because was, it was back in the day. He was talking about it. He was like, yeah, you know, I shouldn't, uh, you know, he's like, it's kind of fucked up. We live in a system where I could have, I got to do all the shit I did and still get to sit up here. And yeah, no, it's crazy. He was like, and, a rapper, all kinds of stuff. Like, that guy has oh, yeah. a life story for sure. Bro, I, think, I think getting arrested for certain shit nowadays makes you more famous. Yeah, Liam Neeson right now, everyone's like, oh, it's going to ruin his career. But I think if anything, that thing, like, I don't know if you guys What happened it. with him? I didn't even know. I didn't uh, he told a story, he was like, he was way younger. He was like in his 20s, I guess. And then, like, he had a like a roommate that was a girl, or maybe it was like an ex girlfriend. Anyway, it was a girl that he knew and he lived with. And she got raped by a black dude. And then, like, he came home, and, like, the story he tells is, like, oh, I came home and found about it, and I left the house in a rage with a baseball bat. And he just, so oh, was, like, yeah, he's, like, I was just looking for any black dude. And then, like, everyone's, like, that's so racist. Oh, he kind of did get some shit for that, though. He did, you know, but it yeah. also, like, I don't, like, he just, he's putting the movie out, too, so I guess it'll, we'll see when that, like, gets its, like, you know, back. I but. mean, I, I, I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm not sympathetic to anybody who's racist but it's like something like that would be like I don't think he meant if it like some that, white though. dude with like short blonde hair went out and did the same thing to well, yeah. to anybody you know and and someone who cared for the person heard oh. about it they're going to be on a rampage like I'm going to go fuck up any white dude well with especially hair. if it was his girlfriend I could see that dude you're in a blind rage at that point yeah yeah, yeah like, Still, that's the only know, characteristic she gave you like what else are you supposed to go look for? Some Asian guy when she said he was black? Like, I'm not trying like... That's where I can sympathize. Like, I don't think it's racist. I just yeah, think and it was, what, 20, 30 yeah, well, years? Yeah, well, yeah, and he's also, like, how old is Liam Neeson? Like, super old. <laughs> old enough to buy a Like, he's at least 50. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? His tie is getting old. He's been in a, a ton of movies. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I had a, like, I will find you. <laughs> I have a particular set of skills. I, I will find you. <laughs> that, that makes good? me a nightmare. I don't like know you. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how he sounds. <laughs> a little... British <laughs> yes but like what I think's funny is like when like they, they do like American accents and there's certain words where if you're really oh yeah you can catch you it can, you can catch it yeah it's weird that's weird yeah, when you hear that. someone say like oh I'm gonna do an American accent and it's like they're like how's it going Bob and you're like oh <laughs> that's weird like that, that's weird that's, that's, a di- that's a different thing in another part of the world yeah I think it's great though like hearing other people do their like American accents, like it's fucking. They're all take the chili dog, and then like a bunch of Asians laugh, like what? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, uh, oh, I mean, it's looks funny. I watch a lot of, I watch a lot of, or something. I watch a lot of impression videos, but yeah, it's like. like yeah, it's Tom Hardy and the I've new got band. a couple of, I've got a couple like not like famous people, but like a couple of really good impressions. I think like <laughs> just from like the area I grew up in, <laughs> like um, Elton, bro. Like, all right, so it's like, nah, what's up, fool? That's right, girl. They call me little sniper. <laughs> that's right. Do show waving, big eyes. <laughs> nah, I'm not big sniper. No. That's my brother, girl. That's right. He's in the pen right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're pal on the pen. Orderly, <laughs> girl. That's on me. That's on me, rasa. <laughs> <laughs> you good at rolling your R's. You got that. <laughs> you good at rolling. Rolling those R's. 
frijoles. Hay <laughs> el miglo. <laughs> hey, Hi, man. We do have quite a bit of Mexican food. <laughs> they love us. It's all good. Yeah. Nah, and a big thanks to you guys. We appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I grew up around a yeah. bunch of Mexican folks. Dude, I got chorizo. Yeah, dude. The one you said, I used to live in Arizona. In my freezer and my fucking refrigerator. I right was now. like two hours away from Phoenix. I was in a little, like, by Lordsburg, New Mexico, in uh, Duncan, Arizona. You know where Marinci is, that big copper mine down there? I don't. I was like six weeks old. And oh, I bro. Okay. Out there. I probably didn't even need to say Arizona. Well, you know, I just like to add it on there. Just add the story. It's like, so I grew up on the where I started. Like, it's where well, I started. I was born on an airplane. I was actually an hour born later. behind a tree. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I got we, we had a picnic and right there. <laughs> they were like brushing dirt like, off of me. I ain't waiting. Grass. You came out, they like rubbed dirt across your forehead and like lifted you towards the You're stomach. like, I don't like hospitals. So. Dude, am I wrong? All right, what is that 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 motherfucker cracked open? Yeah, I never It's a gourd of some sort. Oh, dude, it looked delicious though. I like always wanted. Maybe, yeah, like, maybe it's some kind of melon. I don't African, know the way he ripped it apart. Like African <laughs> coconut or something. <laughs> dude, that dude had, well, he is a monkey. Maybe somebody, he have a somebody, hand. somebody, comment on this shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let us know what is he cracking open in the Lion King. They spread the. Like, it's a gourd. Yeah, it has to be yeah. a gourd mm. of some sort. I just don't. Maybe there's a certain kind of gourd that has that red juice in it. But is it like an oh my gourd? Uh, oh my gourd! <laughs> oh my gourd! <laughs> oh my gourd! <laughs> oh my gourd! <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, this day glow's got me tripping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Golf party. Oh fuck! <laughs> I just made a song. Do you guys do like a Facebook page for Arm Confined, or where can people find you? Um, you know. Probably begging for change here in a couple months if this music thing don't kick off. You know? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll be playing over there by Walmart or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we've got uh, Facebook. Uh, we've got some stuff on YouTube. Um, you guys can follow me on uh, yeah, Instagram. Right. Yeah, yeah, just uh, literally at, start him one day. At Ian Unconfined or, uh, you know. Nice. Uh, Facebook is uh, forward slash we are unconfined or just search unconfined on your uh, yeah, Facebook here. app. Cool. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's yeah. yeah. So your upcoming show was uh, the Knitting Factory. Knitting Factory, April nineteenth. Tickets will be free. Nice. Um, so I mean, I'll give you guys a big stack. So if you guys got anybody who wants to go. Or if anybody wants them, just yeah, message these guys, comment, hit us up on the Unconfined Band page. Um, I'll definitely be there. Yeah, just reach out, let us know. We're going to pack the place up. It's going to be a really good night. We mm-hmm. got uh, Elton Jaw, Unconfined, and a really, really good buddy of mine, Ricky Deschamps. Uh, he's, I don't know if you guys know Deschamps. Uh-huh. He comes through every now and again. He plays. He is hilarious, sexy, and funny. <laughs> uh, that's how he markets himself. He's just brilliant. He's really, really good. He pushes himself out there really hard, and I'm nice. super stoked to play with him. It's been a while, so. Nice. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, the knitting factor up there is a good rim. You fit, I think, oh, 1,500 yeah. people in there. And I, uh, no, he's it's, a nice, a, it's a nice venue. Too. It is a good venue. He's got non-confined ads. Are people where you guys got someone to pick up merch other than concerts? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, you, we have an online store. We have a buy now button. You can click on. It's right off the Facebook page. Yeah, right off oh, the Facebook well, that makes page. Makes it easy, folks. Um, or you can even message us, and if you, you know, if you're not seeing what you want, because there's a really limited stock online through the company we go through. Um, but anything else, just message us, and we're not afraid to mail you something. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if no, you're we're close, we'll, we'll cruise too. around like and I drop said, something. I, I had a couple so. shirts like his made, and. Uh, just wanted to see how they turned out. And they turned out really good, I yeah, think. Yeah, those are cool. The image could be a little bigger for me. Yeah, that. no, yeah. it was a little limit on the site. So. On the size? Yeah, yeah. But you can't do it any bigger for some reason. Who's that through? Uh, I did it through... Beep, uh, beep. Yeah, we'll just beep them. Nah, <laughs> I don't mind saying. Like I said, they, I like it. I'm not giving them a bad review. I don't see why they'd take it down. But I got it through a, a T-shirt. No, some print shirt. And uh, the spread shirt, sorry, that's spread what it was. Shirt. I was gonna say print shirt. Spreadshirt dot com. They do uh, hats, beanies, uh, socks. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I just want to Pretty test cute. it out. We're uh, we were looking into marking on some own merch and then uh, doing some patches and like koozies, mainly koozies because uh, yeah. we do the beer uh, and stuff. So Marcus stuff like that. But uh, yeah, no, I was really happy with it. But yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So figured I'd ask you about your merch because I know he's got a hat and 
I wouldn't mind maybe picking one up because. Oh yeah, those hats. Yeah, we're out of those right now. We're about to get a, another batch in though. So nice. if you got a color scheme you want, just let me know and I can order. Like, a want that leopard for print one next time? What color leopard, leopard print, print bill? Or whatever the hell it was. It was yeah, like orange. Those are my favorite. I yeah, love the leopard. The dude, shirt. the leopard. They're just sexy ass hats. Like. Yeah, they're cool. And yeah, and you sell them at the shows. So people can pick it up there too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah absolutely. Perfect. And then like when you buy our stuff, like we'll send you free stuff too. Like we usually ask you to like give us your email or whatever and. We'll give you, like, free shit that nobody else has. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. You know, it's just one of those things that we like to do, like... Um, <laughs> I know, we need to start doing that kind of stuff, too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Like, you know, send them your empty bottles. <laughs> We're ten cents in order. <laughs> hey, you can get some of this. You can get some of this right here. Not right. my dick. The, the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess that's going to wrap it up for tonight's episode of the Lee's Young Day Glow IPA with our guest, Ian Smith of On Confined. You can find him on Facebook, YouTube guys looking to get merch you can find that on facebook uh if you're looking to get merch with us it's coming soon uh just a shout out from a fan named taryn if you're local here in lucent clarkson they're looking for some help down at the rock warming shelter so if you're looking to you know give back to the community you can do some stuff there and uh yeah if you guys are looking to get some of this you can find it most places you won't miss it it's the tiger with the lasers coming out of his eyes and <laughs> it's yeah actually yeah, the tiger. really good i'm surprised yeah, it's delicious I do not like ipas but i could drink this yeah, that's not bad one. one. Yeah. yeah, we got a new one. Thanks right, for nice. having me, guys. I yeah, really for sure. It. Yeah, this is a good one. I'll right, come back so, uh, again. We'll, for sure. Yeah, no, we're, we're definitely season. down for reoccurring guests, and uh, so yeah. And uh, if anyone else in the band wants to come on, you guys come on in a couple pairs, or we can make room for all you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. no, we can all sit on the same couch. Yeah, dude, we'll sit on laps. All right, yeah. we're gonna Peace. call it tonight, guys. You guys have a good one. Uh, we'll be up. Next Wednesday again, we'll uh, keep you guys updated on the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Go ahead and just follow us as long as you're on Instagram and Twitter. It's going to be suds underscore in underscore buds. Anywhere else, it's just suds and buds with normal spaces. All right. You guys have a good night.